I believe what can be fairly said is that there is always an inspiration for artists. There's always going to be someone you are going to artistically simp over. I don't know if I used that term correctly, but today I have discovered the most wonderful thing ever. Who I want to be when I grow up. Who I want to be in my life. This artistic style. I'm just in shock whenever I look at her art and it just makes me want to cry because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I found this wonderful artist named Ashia Arts and just look at all the little details, all the pastels, the cats. It's my absolute dream. So as I went uh, up to visit my family bubble, my brother refused to model for me. I actually decided to base my art off of my favorite piece from her, which, ugh, I love it. But keep in mind, I'm 16 and she's a 30 year old who is an awesome kick-ass person. And I have not had that much time to develop my skills because I actually started watercoloring this, this summer after I begged my mom for a kid at Michael's, so. I can't be at her level for at least 20 years, but I'm really excited because she's amazing. I also threw in a bit of spicy teen existationalism, just a hint of that, because when you're a teenager, and not that maybe I have that much experience because COVID's taking away a year of that, but anywho, when you're going after school on Friday, it's not always hunky-dory. It's not always the aesthetic little ramen shop in the corner. It's, oh my God, did I pass that algebra test? And um, that's why I'm gonna call this piece after the, after the math test. And I think I'm so creative and I'll explain to you why. And I'm so happy about this piece, man. I love it. So I just drew these two girls. One of them is obviously a mom friend. The other is kind of freaked out because she does not know if she did well or not on this math test. Then I decided to throw in another one. Just one that was really suffering at this point. Look at her on that table. Then I got paranoid. I was like, oh crap. I realize now that the chairs are not aligned. And usually when you go to a restaurant, the chairs are always the same size. So I had to fix that. This is also the start of the background in the kitchen, you know, but we can talk about that later. Then I had to write something very little in Japanese. And what I was trying to do here, you can see the Japanese flag and the American flag in Japanese writing was, I was attempting to demonstrate the, not clash of cultures, but the mixing of cultures in America. Were you going to go to this random ramen shop, see some Japanese notes and Japanese flag, get the food, and you know, there's a multiracial friend group at the table. So yeah, let's see. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply, but whatever. It's my drawing. One thing I really liked about the ramen place where I used to go to before the pandemic was that you could always write on the walls with these uh, post-it notes. And I also used some inspiration from this children's book I saw to make the background here. So as you can see here, that is where I got a lot of the inspiration for the background. And you, there's the cash register, there is the little write a note section with the post-it notes. And then of course there's the little kitchen with the owner behind it, just walking through a place where all well, three girls have a mental breakdown. Back to our girls. So they're school kids. I had to draw the outlines of backpacks. On to my least favorite part. When I got out of the shaky car, I started to ink. So that was fun, and this is what I got. I actually fixed her hands. I don't find inking as fun as actually drawing or painting, but it's necessary. But I'm always afraid that I'll mess up, but I think I did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. I start to the video, I'll admit, but I was just very anxious over this piece because I really, really liked it. So this was what I was getting so far and I was kind of anxious about it. So I texted my friends. One of them was like, OMG, it's so good. And the other just liked it. So thank you so much, Edwin and Firefox, neither of which are your real names. Hook me. 
like for 30 minutes. Uh. There's a lot of bustling in the background, but that's just because my family is loud, not because we're having a party. And anywho, look at that shading. Woo, woo, woo. And I hope you see in the background the little post-it notes I wrote. I am so proud of that detail. After that very long evening of just slaving over this piece and kind of just painting the, the corner, minding my own business as my family watched and was like, how's it gonna turn out? I believe it turned out great. Thank you so much for asking. Here's a bit of a scan. I really like the colors. and But then I started seeing imperfections as I went on. I was in the car, so I couldn't really fix it. Anywho, you probably noticed the backpacks. And one of the backpacks I tried to base off my own. Though I don't think that worked out that well. I am aesthetically standing in front of the fire right now, so I apologize for any background noise that is inconvenient. And my cats are fighting, but I'll leave them to it. Uh, I spent five hours on Instagram yesterday. To be fair, it was the Super Bowl, and I was only watching it for uh, the commercials, so I was obviously on it a lot. And I was looking at watercolor pieces and also stupid TikTok, but mostly watercolor pieces. Hi, mom, I'm making an art vlog. So I'll try to dwindle that down, but whatever. I don't know what kind of math was done on this graph, but I'll take it. To be fair, Instagram is the only social media I use, so I guess that's why. And I've had a really boring week. Now, instead of that, I'll just spend all my time editing this YouTube video. Another pondering. I look absolutely great with this um, red umbrella on my head. The sun does not get in my face, and it is my favorite color. I lost my paintbrushes. So I don't think I'll be able to edit. I literally lost them. In my car. Maybe they fell out. I don't know. But I want to die. <sighs> I apologize, that's a really dramatic thing to say, but ah, this sucks. This really sucks, and you know what, I think for now I am done with the piece I made. So we can look over it one more time. But yeah, I think I did ultimately a good job and I'm pretty happy with it. I have to get myself new equipment because of my own wrongdoing. Actually, I fixed some of the white spots with an old uh, paintbrush I found. Very hard, but I'm happy with the results. One day I'll be like a Shia, but that'll take a while. And like my dad says, I'm a flower. So, let's see how I go. Grow. Bye. <laughs>